propaganda. There's propaganda all over the walls, and people are falling for the messages that are set before them. Yes. Here is uh, Machete, who is going to tell us about what propaganda is. Well, for me, propaganda is a way of getting a message out aggressively. So what I have here is I have my Machete campaign, and the Machete campaign is interested in the changes between generations and the changes of power between ages. So every 30 years or so, a generation will change um, power. And so we're, we're right about that change right now with the baby boomers and Gen X. And so I'm interested in seeing if Gen X can hold on to some of its attitude that it had um, and these images are, are kind of a reminder that we kind of have to do that in order to be successful and not do something like um, oh my, my least favorite thing in the world is oh America peaked in the 60s uh, summer of love it's like where are those guys now they're worried about their 401ks and they are, I don't know, still out in the burb somewhere. So I'm interested in the fact that hopefully we can hold on to some of the things that we held dear growing up. And that's propaganda. Wow, I would like to subscribe to your newsletter then. Thank you. This is, uh, this is Sat Kirpal Khalsa, and uh, Sat, I've seen you before here at Beep Beep, and you have a new piece in the Propaganda Show. Uh, tell me about it. Well, this was, this is pretty much a um, straight propaganda poster, and it's, it's mostly about the Puerto Rican independence movement. I have various characters in, the, in this poster that are historical figures, and some of them are pretty modern, like he was kind of one of the first people, you know, way back in the day to promote Puerto Rican independence, and he was involved in the Cuban independence movie, movement with Martin, like way before Castro. And then this is one of the, kind of passing the torch to one of the last ones, who was recently assassinated by the FBI. So it's kind of just just promoting that, and I just have different historical figures and you know different symbols of Puerto Rican independence. Uh, so it seems like a lot of a lot of the stuff in here is sort of um, an, an imaginary kind of propaganda. Yours is more literal. Uh, do you think that's because of your background? Um, probably. Uh, I decided to not take the ironic approach, and it's a lot of stuff I've been thinking of anyway, and I've been studying all these all these people so when the show came up I just took advantage of it and you know just put it into my work uh, great well thank you no problem. So uh, this here is Bean. He's got a uh, video piece in the Propaganda Show. Uh, so tell us about it. Um, well, this is a, actually an appropriated video that that I found at a thrift store, and it's sort of a, I've had a a whole sort of a collection of these videos about selling and products. And what I've done is edit out everything about the corporation and left out all the stories. And it's basically Basically pyramid schemes and stuff like that. I've collected books and items for years and I'm really drawn to them because the people talk about getting rich instantly and that American dream of just having all the money in the world and it's um and sort of the dialogue behind the video is all that. So and I sort of put myself in there as this get rich scheme by putting my name and like links to my videos on YouTube and other stuff like that. So it's 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 a propaganda piece for myself and I'm using their their prop
propaganda techniques of selling products <laughs> to be rich instantly, which we all want. So it's, if you watch my video over and over, you actually become rich. Become rich? Become rich, yeah. Well, show me more. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's all. That's all I want to say. What? Uh, do you have any questions, or do you want me to tell you how I made it, or? No. No. Pretty good. Awesome.